hello guys we are back with our next lecture in this lecture let us continue with some more problems guys this is the pdf which is separate which i have uploaded okay so you can just check in that guys okay yes so let us start so basically please take a piece of paper and start solving with me guys because you will be getting a more clarity while you are solving with me right yes okay so the question is directly he drawn the path for us right so he drawn the network diagram okay so he drawn the network diagram okay so hence here again you need to calculate the critical path only so now let us start drawing those boxes okay so let me just to give me a second i'll be just drawing them okay and for this i'll be drawing it here okay yes so the first step what is the first step guys so in first step you will be assuming the first values initial value as a zero that is nothing but the forwarding value is zero right yes so you will be solving for here so to go here how many incoming are there please make sure that you are in your examination you are drawing these arrows guys because arrows are mandatory to draw okay yes so to here how many incoming are there only one is there hence the this cost plus this cost that is nothing but three similarly to here we are only having one path so two plus zero is a two similarly for here we are having two different paths this is nothing but a three plus three six as well as a two plus two four so we will be taking maximum while we are moving forward so we'll be selecting six done yes so to, to here so to here you can go from here to here for free of cost so it could be six as well as from here you can go to here that is nothing but five so maximum is six so i wrote six okay similarly let us continue to here how many paths are there we are having two different paths okay six plus seven or six plus three obviously six plus seven will be the more that is nothing but 13 done okay similarly 13 plus 6 or 6 plus 5 or 4 plus 2 obviously 13 plus 6 will be the maximum that is 19 done okay so guys i explained you in a single minute i think so the whole forwarding right so but make sure you dry, write step by step guys in the book it is given step by step explanation also so please check it and solve it step by step okay yes so now we are done with the forwarding part so what about the backwarding path is your question right yes so you will be starting at the end so 19 okay so let us move back step by step okay so here make it seven guys because it could lead to a confusion okay seven okay so let us come back so from here how many outgoing are there only one outgoing is there right yes so that is the reason why this value 19 minus 6 it is nothing but 13 done okay similarly to 5 how many outgoing are there so we are having two different paths okay in this path 19 minus 5 so 19 minus 5 is a 14 similarly here 13 minus 7 okay so 13 minus 7 is a 6 right i think so yeah yes it is 6 only okay yes so among these two which is a minimum 6 so remember while forwarding you will be selecting the maximum fire coming back you'll be selecting the minimum please don't confuse guys okay so we got 6 okay so let us continue below so here also we are having two different paths okay so here the value is a 13 minus 3 that is a 10 19 minus 2 is a sorry 19 minus just give me a second guys 19 minus 2 is a nothing but 17 okay so here 13 minus 3 is nothing but 10 so it should be 10 right so why it is a 6 here okay so i think it might be a mistake guys just give me a second i'll be let us just cross check guys because uh, i think did i do any mistake okay okay so that's my bad so basically here we are having this also as an outgoing right so that cost is zero right yes so six minus a zero is a six the minimum value is six what that it was absolutely correct that's my mistake guys okay yes so please consider the zero with uh, that uh, dead notes also that not, they are not dead that those are uh, what will be called minus guys just give me a second dummy values right so yeah. dummy activities right so those activities also please consider them guys okay right now i also was confused okay yes so now let us we are done with till here so let us move back so here so here we are having two different positions so six six in both the paths there are six so six minus two and six minus three obviously six minus three that is a three okay similarly to here there is only one path so six minus two is a four four minus two is a two right so basically you all remember that here we should always skip zero right so that's the reason why i have directly written zero there okay yes so now you are done here so basically now tick mark the values where the both of them are equal yes so in all of them both are equal so we'll be starting here okay here both are equal so you'll be moving here here both are equal here also both are equal so but we can go here right yes so come back here okay and then move finally here so that is nothing but your total cost so basically he did not mention in terms of days or months or anything so that will be your, he directly wrote in terms of days guys okay so 19 days okay so that is dummy here okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right yes okay so let us continue with the next problem so in this problem he did not give the diagram guys okay but he gave the statements okay so that is the thing that you should understand here so here he gave a b c d e f g h total 
that many statements he gave so here he told that a b c are first activities executed concurrently so from one point you can say that all three could execute properly i think this question is a different question right because this problem is different and this solution is different right okay so i think that could be a mistake so let us just draw the diagram guys because he did not give the values also right yes so that is the reason why let us just draw the diagram so that you will be having a clear idea so he told that all of them are concurrent right so a b c so i wrote a b and c so i am giving 2 3 and 4 okay so now we are done with it so a and b precedes d okay so a and b precedes d means combining a and b we can get a d that's it right okay i think the definition the statements are also a bit uh, confusing right so a and b precedes d okay so before d we are having a and d so let us uh, try our level best so let me combine these two and from here i'll be making the d transaction okay so d value so now we are done with the four also okay precedes e comma f and h okay so i think this statement is completely off so basically we did not give properly okay so let us continue d f and c precedes g okay so i think precedes e f and h so i think this statement is not that much clear and every statement is depending on that guys okay sorry for that guys if some one more question comes we will be solving it okay yes so now i hope everyone is clear with these kind of problems right so these two problems are completely different okay yes okay 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 so this problem we already discussed about the optimistic time pessimistic time and that problem guys okay so you, we should remember the formula you should fill the table and using the formula okay and you can calculate the mean values and you can start the same method so even in this method also you can use the same critical path method which we used now guys both will work okay here we used the same forward and backward tracking and we solved it okay yes so this is an example okay yeah so here i think this question is clearly drawn right yes so for this question let us draw guys okay so just to give me a second i'll be taking a piece of paper so if possible you also please take a piece of paper guys because we can check whether we are doing correctly or wrong because even i don't know the correct answer for this thing okay yes so let us start so initially he is saying for a the predecessor is nothing right yes okay so let us start so for a before we don't need anything so you can directly start from 1 and you can directly move to a right so we reach it to okay so from 2 that is nothing but from a 2 that is after a so this is done right so uh, from a you can go to b okay so we are done with a so now we can go to with the b okay this is also done so with the b you can go to c so with the b you can go to c okay with the c you can go to d okay okay with the b you can go also to e so b is a done here so write here e guys okay so this is a 6 okay similarly from e you can go to f so where is e e is here so from e you can go to f that is a 7 okay from a g sorry from a d and f so where is a d d is a here guys okay where is a f f is here so basically by combining these two you can go to g done yes okay similarly from h sorry from e you can go to h so where is a e from a e you can go to h also so h 9 okay so we are done with this also from i from a h you can go to i so where is a h so from a h you can go to i okay so this is a 10 okay so this is also done from a g and i you can go to j so where is a g g and i okay okay so from these two okay so let us make a dummy here better so use this okay from here you can go to 11 and use you can use a j from a j you can go to k right you got 12 okay so here our starting point is 1 and our ending point is 12 so let us check whether the diagram also matches with the next diagram or not wow i think it's exactly the same guys okay yes so in this way you will be drawing the diagrams okay so basically we went from bottom to up he came from top to bottom okay anything will work okay yes so don't get confused with your friends answers guys because these diagrams might vary based on your understanding so few might be saying that from top to bottom we can take now like that they will be thinking but anything will work guys there is no issue in it okay but it is always a better to do it in this way guys because after fifth activity seventh activity will be done right so after seventh event will be done so basically from 5 to 7 will be a better yeah, yes i think this will be better right yes. so in this way okay yes so basically whenever you are drawing these arrows so draw minimum to maximum so minimum to maximum in that way okay so if there is one more example i'll be explaining in this format also don't worry okay so the same process you did guys so instead of solving it in this way direct way 
here you drawn a table and you wrote the values so basically the same values will be there guys don't worry about that okay yes okay so here we are having again one more question the same method okay yes so i think again the, the problems are the same guys the same method you are doing again and again okay okay so sometimes he could ask about this slack guys so basically total slack is nothing but the differences between these things so basically here what is the difference zero what is the difference two what is the difference two what is the difference zero difference two what is the difference zero zero two plus two plus two what is the value six so this table which you draw is a nothing but the slack guys so here we are writing slack the difference between them right so two 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 so to, the slack value is six so in that way you will be solving guys okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right yes so here we are having various problems guys i request you to check okay guys don't get scared by seeing these kind of problems these kind of problems will not be given in our examination guys okay yes so be cool and these kind of problems may not be asked like most of the time okay yes okay okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea on these uh, problems right yes so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about the human okay so we'll be discussing about the human aspects of project development so how we help in the help of the project development okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching